Oh, there's nothing like a good cup of tea. Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to another quick and cozy update on Sticks Plus Twine. My name is Eric, and it is my distinct pleasure to have you join me for just a little chit chat this afternoon, slash evening, slash morning, wherever you are and whatever time you're seeing this. Um, I thought it was just a little bit of time to pop in, give an update on a few little fun things. Um, not a full-blown episode, because you know what? It's tired. It's Thursday. It's almost the end of the week, and I don't know about you, but I'm pooped. I'm pooped. It's time for the weekend. Let's get started. So first, let me reintroduce myself. Um, if you are new here, my name is Eric. I live here in Toronto, and I record this channel in my studio uh, slash office in my home, and um, I thought I would share just a few fun things with you. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I can be found at it's me underscore Eric L. I'm also on Ravelry if you're so inclined. Um, I don't use Ravelry for much of anything at this point other than tracking projects, that sort of thing. But we will be using Ravelry for an upcoming knit along, so we we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, so that's where you can find me. Um, let's start in with, it's the 28th of October. That means we have three days left of the Sticks Plus Twine finish along, fall finish along, 2021 edition. Um, I'm going to show you uh, two of the prizes today. I'm waiting on the third to arrive in the post, and then the fourth prize will be from uh, patterns from me. So we'll talk about that. Uh, a little bit of progress to share on a pullover that I am making. I've got a few new things that have come in the post that I thought I might give you a little quick sneak peek at. Um, yeah. One of the first things that I got today, and yes I know it is October, but I got a new set of Emma Bridgewater tea mugs and a two cup teapot today because I was obsessed with my lovely friend Sandy uh, by the lakeside, um, both shop and her YouTube channel and Patreon. And uh, I just, I love them. They're perfect size for a good cup of tea. I can finish it before it gets cold, which is lovely. Um, and they arrived today and they're Christmas and I'm using them. Yep, yeah, so today is, this is very old school um, YouTube channel podcasting. Remember when that was the thing? It was, what tea are we drinking, and then what did we buy, what are we working on, what did we finish, what knit-alongs are we participating in. I kind of miss the old school, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. You know, um, there's just something to be said about having just a cozy chat with a friend when you're talking about knitting. Anyway, so my tea tonight is the um, Yorkshire Teas uh, Bedtime Tea, which is their decaf version. Uh, with vanilla and nutmeg and I I like nutmeg but it can be real overpowering if you're not careful they've got it right it's perfection it's really really nice it's just really soothing and warm and calming um, I am today wearing my vertices unite that I did uh, about a year and a half ago last spring 2020 um, in all plucky knitter I don't know the colors I can't remember it's on my Ravelry page that's why we have those so you can go and check that out I always get asked, what is this behind me? This is the Halo Shawl by Jared Flood that is done in Brooklyn Tweed Loft in the Hayloft colorway. Um, I should probably just start putting that in the notes, but I know most of you don't read the notes anyway. I don't. I don't either. Uh, anyway, so that's what I'm drinking. That's what I am wearing. That is what's on the back of the chair. Let's get started with some actual fun stuff. So the first update uh, I have for you is that I got a, yes, another sweaters quantity. Apparently it's going to be nothing but sweaters around here for the next little while. Uh, I did pick up another sweaters quantity. I have a whole bag of it here with me, but this is the um, Caraway Colorway of Brooklyn Tweed Shelter that I will be using for the Kiesling pullover. Kiesling is one of the um, patterns that was released as part of the Frames Collection, which is their they like to say genderless collection, and I prefer to say all gender, um, so I will use that language. Um, but it just, they were, how do we create garments that are extremely well-fitting and well-designed and well-tailored 
as opposed to just being a boxy shape that fits nobody well and doesn't look great on really anybody. Um, I loved, loved, loved the pattern the moment I saw it and it's done, again, I'm into this mode of, you know, you design something in a colorway that I really like, I'm going to do it in that colorway because it's part of what I want to buy and what I want to make. So I've not used this caraway colorway before and I'm shocked that I haven't because it's actually a Grello marl, which, you know, I'm <laughs> appearances to the contrary as I'm wearing a gray t-shirt and have a yellow shawl behind me. Um, I've moved a little bit beyond Grello into greens and I've got a new color that I'm kind of starting to obsess over. Um, anyway, I'm surprised I haven't used this before. I can't wait to make it. It's going to be, I think it's going to be really fun. It's not a terribly complex pattern to make, um, but it has a saddle shoulder and it looks like the fit will be really, really good. Um, you know, because I'm quite broad shouldered and broad chested that um, I can, I've learned how to taper the body now to fit me better. Um, and I know that there's some ways that I'm going to be able to do that in the pattern. And I love this color. And I just love shelter. I just, it's a staple. Um, if you've watched any previous episodes, if you haven't, you should. Welcome if you're new. Um, I have an entire cabinet <laughs> right over there, full, almost to the brim of Brooklyn Tweed, that I really need to start knitting more. Like I said, it's going to be all sweaters here for the next little while. We'll talk about the next knit along too. So that came in. Um, and good news, my original mystery knit along kit from Stephen and Penelope arrived. It finally showed up. And I've left it in the bag, but I did get the Stephen and Penelope cute little tote bag. And it's actually perfect, it holds all the yarn. Um, and it came with three of these lazy swatch tools, which um, I won't use for this necessarily, for this project, but I really, really like these. Um, they look like, I thought they were cardboard, but they're actually like press board, so, you know, they're, they're quite sturdy, um, so I'll use those. It also came with um, this really cute reflective sticker and a label to sew onto said finished object. And of course it came with the yarn. Um, this is Holst Garn, super soft in one, two, three, four, five different colors. Uh, I don't know what all the colors are. Topaz, um, I can't read them all. I'm not going to read them all. They're going to go on my Ravelry page. I'm not going to get a chance to knit this up for quite a while because I've got so many other projects now in the queue. But um, if you had seen previous episode, my, I think it's the last episode, because this was so delayed by FedEx, like literally two months delayed, um, they sent me a whole other kit. So I might use this for a different West Knits project. I just feel like that's appropriate. Um, but I have to sort of find one. I think I have one in mind that I, I kind of want to do for this. But I love the yarn so far, but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to knit this up now for a while. Because, as we said, it's all about the sweaters these days. So, we'll put that to the side. Um, that's it really for yarn that's arrived. I am picking up another sweaters quantity next week. Um, but that's a special road trip, and it's a special kind of yarn that I've been waiting to get my hands on for quite a while. And I'm super excited. I'm going to actually take you guys along for the trip to go and when I go to drive to pick it up. Um, there may be a special co-pilot along for the ride, so stay tuned for that. It'll be fun. It'll be cute. That's about, that's next Thursday. Today's Thursday the 28th. It'll be next Thursday, so it'll probably be up the following week after that. So stay tuned for that. What else arrived? Ooh, I'm super excited. My first hide and hammer bag has arrived, and it is mustard. Uh, it arrived yesterday, and I gotta say, it is bigger than I expected, y'all. Like, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like a lunch bag size. No, no, this thing is big, like, big. Like, I can fit a sweater project in here. I didn't realize, because I thought, oh, it's quite pricey. It's a bit spendy for the, the like, for a lunch bag size bag. No, it's, it's big, y'all. So, for comparison, that's the tote bag from Stephen and Penelope that has six 50 gram balls in it. One, two, no, 10, sorry, 10 50 gram balls. That's the size of this bag. It's twice the size. So easy peasy, large shawl project, no problem. Sweater in pieces, no problem. Um, 
I love it. I, I just opened it and I think I did a little gasp when I saw the color because I just love this yellow. This mustard is so good. <sighs> yeah, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a good yellow bag. What am I gonna do? So that came in as well. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for first, but I have done a swatch for the Longfellow cardigan. Um, I had frogged my Weekender Light, which if you go back an episode, you'll see that. And I've done a swatch in that yarn that is just drying now because I want to, I like to have my ducks in a row. So when I'm ready to cast something on, I can just go for it. So uh, my gauge doesn't change. My gauge has stayed the same for years. And I know this because I keep records of my gauge swatches. I have them hanging over on the wall. I know what my gauge is, um, particularly in shelter. So I'm not too worried about doing a swatch and then like three months later having it change. It doesn't shift that much for me. I'm very consistent. Um, so that might actually go in this bag. That would be really cute. So that's that. Um, the only other thing that really came in was I got a set of the Knitter's Pride knit blockers. I wasn't planning on buying these, but I got to say, um, I still have yet to block my um, class in... Uh, Clinton Hill Cashmere Class and Triangle with a twist because I don't relish the thought of pinning this thing out and using blocking wires. Like it's it's just a bit of a labor and I'm not really in the mood for it. But I saw <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. Um, I saw Sandy had done hers and she'd used these um, to block hers and I thought that's just gonna make life so much easier. So I will block it um, and get that done. You know. It wasn't expensive. I got them actually from Amazon, um, just because they were the fastest delivery, really, and free shipping. Let me, like, free shipping. Okay, so now let's talk about things that I'm working on. I have been really, really good at sticking to one project, which is not like me at all, and the project I have stuck to is my opt sweater in Brooklyn Tweed tones and because it's a cozy update the lighting's a little bit um, warmer so these aren't super true to the colors it's gonna look a little warmer but the sweater body is done it has been bound off I am working on a sleeve which I am let's see uh, about halfway done the sleeve and then I'll do the other sleeve as well I don't know if I'll have this done in time for the end of the month for my own finish along that's okay. I finished, I think, eight projects in this finish along, which for me is a record. I've cleared out a ton of old whips, um, made some decisions on what, you know, am I going to keep, what am I going to frog, what's going to just be put in the back burner for now, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm pretty happy with my progress. I did try this on, and I think it fits really, really well. I need to see it blocked first. Um, it doesn't... It doesn't lay quite the way that I want it to, which isn't to say it's a fault of the knitting or the yarn, just, you know, blocking just transforms things, right? It's magical. Um, so I'm going to do that. The um, bottom of the sweater in the ribbing, I did the tubular bind off as well as um, I just felt like I have the time. It doesn't take that long to do. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a hassle. It's a bit of, you know, a labor of love. But I love this sweater so much, I love the yarn so much, I like the adaptations that I made. I tapered the body pretty aggressively at about double the rate that they call for. And it looks, to my eye, like it's going to be a perfectly fitting sweater. So why would I not take the extra, you know, it took me probably about an hour on and off. I was watching some TV. Why not take the extra hour, right? It's a sweater I'm going to love and enjoy for a very long time. Will I regret having spent the time? No. Do I even remember the time, really? Only because I'm recalling it and telling you the story of it. Um, but I don't regret the time at all. So, you know, I said last time, do the tubular. Just do the tubular. You'll, you'll appreciate it. So that's underway. I'm excited to wear that because it's starting to get cold here. It's really starting to get cold in the mornings. Um, so I now work as a personal trainer at a gym, and it's about a 10 minute walk. It's pretty close, but because I live by the lake, it gets windy and chilly and, uh, yeah, 
it, it's been getting a little cold lately. So the good news is I have a ton of knitwear and I'm using all of it. I'm interchanging it. I'm like, what? which ones are am I going to wear today? So I'm sort of spreading the love across all of my knitwear. And it's the first time in a long time that I've actually felt like it, you know, I'm not just jumping from apartment to underground parking to underground parking to the office. You know, I'm actually outside more, which is kind of nice. It gives me a chance and excuse to use all of it. Um, so that's that project. I have not really knit on much of anything else, to be quite frank. I've done the swatch for the Longfellow. I've worked on my sweater. And that's kind of it. There's been a whole bunch of new stuff released. It's, it's knitting season. It's high knitting season, especially high knitting planning season. If you haven't started Christmas knitting yet, that's going to be coming out soon. Um, so it's time, you know, it's time for that. So um, why don't we just take a quick teensy weensy little break and we'll come back and we'll talk about the fall finish along and some of the prizes that have arrived. All right. Um, I have two of the prizes for the fall finish along sitting in my lap and uh, just as a reminder there's a bag from my wonderful friend Sandy of Sandy by the lakeside. Um, it's a special one. I also have a skein of yarn from the collaboration that I did with my friend Christina the Cozy Knitter. Um, I actually have three of those to give away. Um, I also have some yarn coming from my friend Annie of uh, Annie Perrin Yarns in Montreal that's coming and I will be um, donating two knitting patterns as well. So there's quite a few things to go around. I'm amazed at the variety of things. I'm encouraged by all the compliments um, that everyone has given me for thinking of doing this, which really, let's face it, it's just saying finish your stuff y'all, that's all. Um, but having that push to get things off the needles, I know I found it really motivating and inspiring. Um, I know that a lot of you did as well. So let's see what prizes we have to share. The first one is said bag from Sandy by the Lakeside. It is one of her highly coveted beard bags. No, it's a bunny bag in green suede. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. It's never been tied, so I'm not going to tie it for you here because I don't want to crease the suede. You can do that should you win this bag. Um, it has a few little extra goodies that Sandy threw in, but it is stunning. Like, it's so gorgeous that I almost want to keep it for myself. Maybe I can pull myself as a winner. No, I wouldn't do that. It's for you guys. It's for one of you. You're going to love it. Um, I'm just going to put it down on the paper. It's going to make noise. You're going to complain, but that's okay. The second prize, um, I, like I said, I'm going to show one, but I actually have three of these. This is the Niaven um, colorway that Christina and I designed together of her self-striping um, sock yarn. This is the Bliss Base. So it's, um, it also comes with a cute little mini. So, you know, for your heels, cuffs, and toes. I love it. I love working with her yarn. It's just, it's such good yarn. It's an amazing base. It's great to knit with, but I think you're also going to really like the colors. So um, I'll just pop a quick little picture up here so you can see what that looks like when it's knit up, but I think you're going to enjoy that too. The patterns for knitting that I will be giving away will be patterns of your choice should you win. So up to 10. So that's it for prizes for the fall finish along. So there's three more days. By the time you watch this, that may be completed. Uh, in which case, you know, uh, if you participated, thank you so much. If you didn't participate, I'm kind of planning on doing this as an annual thing. I think that would be cool. Um, you know, we start all these cool, amazing projects and then we get, you know, attracted by shiny squirrel. What? Um, and then we forget that we actually love those projects too. So pick them back up, let's get them done. Uh, I think that's kind of an appropriate way to think of our journey into high knitting season. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what's next. The next one that we're starting November 1st is going to be um, the Cables and Cardies Cal. So this is a knit along where you knit a cabled project as a garment and, or a cardigan, which obviously is a garment, and that's what we're going to do. It's going to go to the end of February. Um, prizes 
I haven't figured that out yet, but we got time. Uh, I think, you know, I've had some people reach out to me with some prizing, which is phenomenal, which is so, so cool. Um, but suffice it to say, if you have something that's, you know, you're dying to make, now's the time. Uh, I did have somebody ask about a knitted vest, if that counts. Yes, that will count. Um, anything like a hat is not a garment, that's an accessory, in my view, my cal, my rules. Uh, no, that doesn't count. Any like cabled socks, accessories, not a garment. So sweaters, um, cardigans, vests are about the minimal that I think we should do. You've got four months, you've got time. Um, I have a few on the go that I know that I want to make. I'm going to try and get through a bunch of them because I want to make the seven sweater um, from Hudson and West. I want to make the Longfellow cardigan from Brooklyn Tweed. I want to make the Ballin cardigan from Brooklyn Tweed. And I think if I can get through those, that would be cool. I do have more sweaters that I want to make, but those are the three that I'm going to try and get through. So wish me luck. Winter is long and cold. And from what I'm hearing, it's going to be a pretty tough one. So I'm not planning on, other than working, I don't plan on being, you know, doing much. I'm not going on holiday or anything. So I'll be at home knitting and enjoying that. So that's the fall knit along update. That's the uh, Cables and Cardi's Cal update. This has been another Sticks Plus Twine episode that I just thought I'm going to record, I'm going to wing it, I'm just going to give you a quick and cozy update. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you don't subscribe and you want to, please do. Uh, it's a real simple thing. You just click subscribe. If you want to be notified of new episodes, hit the bell. If you don't, that's fine too. If you didn't like the episode at all, there's plenty out there for you to watch, and I thank you for your time. If you did enjoy, thank you so much for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next episode. Happy knitting.